Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Can vaping save lives? So this is a huge turnaround and still very, very controversial. First of all, the e-cigarette was evil and shouldn't be touched with a barge pole, but now it's being looked at in a different light. But whatever happens, don't hold your breath. Now the reason for vaping is that smoking regular tobacco is one of the biggest lifestyle contributors to death and disease in the entire world. It causes heart disease, strokes, and a multitude, a multitude of cancers. It's really not good for you at all. Now on the other side of the coin, there is potential that the flavorings which are used in the e-cigarettes could be harmful to the human body, but studies are still being done. That nothing has been proved one way or another as of yet. But vaping itself has been calculated as having 5% the risk of regular smoking. And also 90% of smokers who try to quit will go back to smoking, but this drops to 60% if they turn to vaping instead. It would be interesting to see the impact that vaping has had on cigarette sales. Now in some countries, vaping is widely discouraged and in others like Australia, it's actually criminalized, which is understandable because of the potential dangers to your health. But smoking should definitely be criminalized as well then. Now there's a sweep of public health in the UK which is in favor of vaping and there have been requests for vaping rooms in companies as well as hospitals, just like the old style smoking rooms they used to have. And the other issue is choice. Now you can have the most basic type, which are called Siglite, and a lot of smokers say you don't get enough of a nicotine hit from them. Then you have the slightly more complex one, which has the device, the nicotine liquid, and the charger. And you know, you need to learn, you need to understand how to actually use it properly. Now, the best way to handle this would be for the government to just grab hold of this and say, right, E-cigarettes are only gonna be sold in pharmacies by trained professionals who know what's in them and has a much better idea of what effect it has on your body. And then they can train people how to actually use them properly instead of just having these pop-up vaping shops here, there and everywhere, which don't seem to be very well regulated. So, do you vape? Are you worried about vaping? Do you feel better for vaping rather than smoking cigarettes? That is, can vaping save lives? Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.